Today I want to talk about our off-grid setup. It's just a little bit different from our previous campground. We're on a farm, really in the middle of nowhere, with no easy access to power or water. <laughs> I've now got my two caravans here. And this is my renovation project, which I will hopefully start soon. And then Hayden's got his bus and a container. So I'm actually set up good for power. I've got a massive solar panel on my roof and a couple of beefy batteries as well. <laughs> so I can happily work away from my laptop, have, use basic power. <laughs> Wait. of the bumblebee <laughs> what isn't great uh, what I've found at the moment is my heater it sometimes works on gas now but it's a bit temperamental still um, so my heating system could be better <laughs> Hayden's power setup is a little bit patchy <laughs> he's got a couple of really old solar panels on the roof that don't really do the job and his batteries weren't holding their charge. Now he has just gone and bought some new ones. He still needs to install them. So hopefully his setup will be a little bit better. So we've been relying on um, a generator more than I've had experience with in the past. We are on Hayden's uncle's farm and Hayden's uncle is on tank water. So he's got a big tank by his cabin up here what the setup is right now we can access the top third of that water and it goes into a green big tank biggish tank here there is a tank on the hill there so we run when the generator is running we use the water pump and it pumps water to the tank at the top of the hill and that is for showers and a hose to fill up my own water tank during the day so we don't have to keep running the generator. So the water comes from the tank by the cabin into this green tank. So this is the beefy water pump that needs the generator going at the moment to be able to work. But Hayden set it up so we can still use water through the day without needing the generator going. And this is the generator. It's actually tucked away in the corner of a field with a long extension cord. So Hayden's actually written the basic instructions down for me, but it's pretty simple. We've been letting it run to empty at night and then just filling it up the next day. So you take off the fuel camp cap, you fill it with petrol, not diesel. <laughs> I did not know that. And then you make sure that this cap thing points to the open words. You put the choke on. You pump this yellow button if you'd let it go all empty. And that just puts fuel through the whole system. You just need to make sure that that switch is on as well. And then you, you yank this cord until it starts. Just like a, you know, a lawnmower. And then you just make sure that the choke is on run. And that's it. Then I just walk away and leave it. <laughs> and then Hayden's just set up a small marquee for the shower down the slope so it's a bit protected from the wind. So this is actually exactly the same shower we had at the citrus orchard. We've just moved it to our new winter location. It's a portable gas water heater and it just needs to be connected to a gas bottle, water hose, and some power. But I'm going to assume that this is connected to Hayden's bus batteries, and there must be just enough juice to run the hot water. And I'm actually low on my own water for the caravan, so might as well show you that this does work with no power running.
And then with my grey water, it's actually just going into the grass right now. And you can do that in New Zealand on private land if you have the owner's permission. But it's pretty strict everywhere else in New Zealand. And then for my toilet waste, I'm still using my caravan toilet cassettes. Luckily I've got two of them, so I just need to wait till both are full. And then I do a trip to the closest dump station half an hour away. And we've already had a few really cold nights here. So luckily Hayden's got an electric blanket which works when the generator's running at night. Has has helped, it has helped. But I must admit it's interesting uh, temperatures because there's no other heating in the bus. And then I've got my average heater in the caravan. So I've already been feeling the cold. And a huge thank you to everyone for your lovely comments on my video about my fridge and stove worries. Uh, I read all your comments. I did just run out of steam answering everyone. I think I've kind of got a plan with the stove. I'm going to try to fix it myself. Some of you were absolutely amazing sending through some contacts. And then with the fridge, so far it's kind of running on gas. I'm just going to keep an eye on it for now and see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and the weather, like this is a stunning spot. I have an absolutely amazing view from my office right now. But at the same time, it's quite exposed. So on a windy day when the wind's coming from this direction, you really feel it. And then it just rained non-stop all of yesterday and everything was starting to become quite muddy. So I feel like the weather here is a little bit more extreme than in other locations. But I have gone on a few exploration walks and the scenery is just, it is stunning. It's beautiful here. It has seriously become such a lovely day, it's so sunny, no wind, perfect, perfect winter's day. So Hayden's actually setting up his new batteries today, which will hopefully give us a bit more flexibility with our generator use. I wasn't able to actually have a shower using the gravity fed tank this morning because the pipe was frozen. <laughs> it was all good once the generator got going and the water pump was used instead. And I've ended up going for another walk today just because the weather is so nice. And this time I've ended up in the middle of the valley. And there's a stream going through bush. It's quite pretty. A little bit muddy, but it's okay. <laughs> Here's the cabin.
So I'm actually moving again today. I had thought I'd stay put here for a while, but plans change. I'm off to help my dad. Uh, Wairo is really tucked away from everything else, so it's a f long drive day today, about five hours-ish, driving to my mum's, and then a couple of days later I'm planning to leave the caravan there and then drive up to dad's to help him out. I had hoped I would be able to work on Vinny a bit more, but I don't know. When I get back, when I get back, 